Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be covering some of the top tips that you can use to get better results while you're editing audio inside of Audacity. So first off, if you are editing an audio file, which is quite long, as you can see this one goes on to 5 minutes and 45 seconds, there's a lot of data to work with, and if you try to make edits like deletions, um, at this level of zoom you're going to have some issues. So what I recommend is that when you're dealing with files that are this big and there's that much information to deal with, you should zoom in. So you can do that by hitting control and uh, the mouse wheel, or you can use the zoom tool, which you can find up here next to the control, uh, the record button. But if you zoom in enough, then you can make sure that when you select part of your audio and you delete it, that you can not interfere with the parts you don't want to. The more precision you use, the better off you're gonna be. Secondly, if you're doing an audio recording and you don't have an absolutely perfect environment for it, or even if you are recording in a studio environment, it's often a good idea to try to remove some of the background noise. And how you can do this is by selecting part of your track. I recommend the very start of it, uh, because that's usually when there's going to be a couple seconds of just pure white static background noise right before you start talking or singing or whatever kind of audio you happen to be doing. So select that area, or we could even just select this part right here. Go to Effect, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile, and what this is going to do is takes the selection we have and basically marks that as a noise that we don't want. So anything similar to that or about that level of um, audibleness, <laughs> for lack of a better word, uh, it's going to want to remove that once we go to actually process the noise reduction. So now if I hit control A on my entire track and I go back up to effect and noise reduction, I can do step two, which is basically setting the noise reduction sensitivity frequency bands, um, all of which not really too necessary to play around with here because the defaults are usually fine. Just hit okay. And it's gonna go through that track over a few seconds and remove any of those background noises which are similar to what was at the start. And by doing that, you're gonna get much better results in the overall quality of your audio. So number three, if you're making an audio recording and you are prone to make mistakes, we all are, and if you're doing a very long recording, then more than likely there's going to be a couple issues in there. You really have two choices to get around that. One is to simply cut it out after you've done one long recording and uh, just take out those breaks where you make mistakes. But another option is to use the append record rather than just recording it all the way through. So if you like the idea of doing uh, recording a little bit and then stopping and then recording some more appended to that or basically added on to the end of that you can do that very easily inside of audacity so in order to do an append record rather than a regular record which starts over as a completely separate track you can either go up to the transport menu and hit append record down here or much easier would be to just hit shift r to trigger an append record rather than a regular record so let's go ahead and try that right now and as you can see as i'm talking it's adding audio onto the end rather than starting a completely new track. One more tip for this video, if you are going to be trying to remove certain parts of your audio like this pop noise that I've got uh, right here about between 18 and a half seconds and 18 and uh, 7 tenths seconds, it's better to actually use the silence noise tool or silence audio tool rather than to hit delete on your keyboard. And this is especially true if timing is important in your final audio. So in many cases, it would be a mistake to simply select that portion of the audio and hit backspace because although it does remove the audio, it also desyncs the timing. So if we want to maintain that timing, then we simply use the silence audio button instead, which does remove the audio, but it doesn't remove that portion of the time from our overall audio. So that's my top tips for audio editing inside of Audacity. I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider donating to my Patreon, and I'll see you in my future videos.